And because Auburn men and women believe in these things, I believe in Auburn and love it. This is the last line of the Auburn Creed, which highlights the spirit and ideals of the university, including work ethic, education, honesty, fitness, lawfulness, compassion, and patriotism. George Petrie was a historian, college professor, and the coach of Auburn's first football team. He wrote the creed in November 1943 at age 77. The Plainsman then published the creed on January 21, 1944. Since then, this has been a favorite tradition of many Auburn fans and students. The Ontario Line of the Creed is the third one. Um, I believe in honesty and truthfulness, without which I cannot win the respect and confidence of my fellow men. Um, and I really like that one because I think that it's sort of the foundation of relationship building, and I think the Creed sort of informs building relationships with your fellow Auburn family. The Auburn Creed is written on several different buildings around campus to remind students of the university values. Um, and for me, it's a way of living, and so it's a way that Auburn men and women are able to sort of just conduct themselves in daily life, so be that on campus or around the world somewhere. And so it's a way um, to really affect the people around you and kind of represent Auburn in a good way, represent yourself in a good way. To celebrate the history and spirit of the Creed, the Student Government Association hosted their first Be the Creed Week this February. Each day was dedicated to a different line of the Auburn Creed, and a variety of organizations sponsored activities that corresponded with the theme. It really is what it ties all Auburn students together because uh, I think everyone would say they believe in it and that's what makes you an Auburn man or woman. Melissa Mitchell, Eagle Eye TV.